should you say we will go to the park with our relatives okay or we shall go to the park with our relatives okay hey guys what's up i hope your day is going swimmingly in today's video we're going to talk about the use of will and shall you might be wondering why some english speakers use will like i will return or sometimes shall like i shall return so when to really use will and shall that's what we're going to talk about in today's video so join me until the end of this video and if you're new to this channel i'm making english video lessons and tips so you may want to hit that subscribe button also don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified with my new uploads let's get started will and shall are both modal verbs and they follow the same verb form in the sentence so we use will in a main verb shall in a main verb like i will return or i shall return the negative form is will not in a main verb shall not in a main verb like i will not return or i shall not return we don't use will and shall with verbs that end in s or es so it is not correct if you say i will returns or i shall returns it's not correct or i will goes i shall goes not correct so those are the forms now when to really use them offers when we offer something we use will and shall hey i'll help you with your homework i'll help you with your homework so I offer help and I use will in this statement. Hey, shall I help you with your homework? Shall I help you with your homework? So shall is used as a question in the sentence and it's still the same meaning to offer something. We also use will and shall when we talk about decisions, when we make decisions. So, what do you want to do this weekend? Mom, shall we go to the park with our relatives? No way! We will go to the park with our relatives, okay? Or you can also say, we shall go to the park with our relatives, okay? Let's say, we will go to the park this weekend. We shall go to the park this weekend. So that is our decision, going to the park this weekend. Shall sounds more formal actually than will. promises so will and shall are also useful when we make promises just like in my example a while ago i will return i shall return those are promises I will love you forever that's a promise right so will and shall are useful when you make promises suggestions we use shall for suggestions but you use it with subjects I and we so 
What do you want to do this weekend? Mom, shall we go to the park with our relatives? No way! Shall we go to the park this weekend? So I am making suggestion. What are we gonna do this weekend? Shall we go to the park this weekend? So, shall we? We is the subject that you use with shall in this example. What do you think? Shall I buy this new phone? It's up to you. Shall I buy this new phone? So you ask for a suggestion. Shall I? I is a subject that is used for this suggestion. Remember, we don't use other subjects. We only use the subjects I and we with shall when we make suggestions or when we ask for suggestions. Prediction. We use will when we make prediction. Hmm. I think it will rain tomorrow. I think it will rain tomorrow. So I predict it will rain tomorrow, but I'm not sure. It's just a prediction. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can attend the wedding this weekend. I think we will not attend the wedding this weekend. So it's just my prediction, but I don't know if it's going to happen or not. So will is used for making predictions. There you go. These are the basic uses of will and shall that you can use in English conversation. When you are in a situation when you need to offer something, you make prediction, you make promises or even make suggestions or ask for suggestions, then these are all useful grammar concepts. Comment down below your sample sentences. Let's check them on the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Share this video with your friends who want to learn English and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So you can learn when and how to use English. See you soon on my next video.